in this video I create an example VSWAP uh, logic for a tram crossing for a forearm intersection so what I've done I just took the model previously used for the simple VSWAP logic and I have a tram crossing the intersection I just added basically these uh, links and connectors and I did a vehicle input with a few trams uh, just a very low number of trams what I try to achieve is that the actuation will go as it was going before but if there is a tram it will be checked at the end of the cycle and if there is a tram it will get a green light if there is no tram there will be no green light so what we do then is we need to add first a signal group for the tram so i open the signal controller and i add e and just copy basically the same settings then we go to the poor file and at the fifth one this will be the tram so the tram is that one so i just add it here okay stages so e will be red in all stages we have currently but we need to create a new stage fifth e and a b c d let's just make it in order a b c d okay we need to create interstage files so if you look at the VSWAP we had before so we check for signal active uh, for stage one then two and three and four it doesn't skip any of them it can't skip them it just extends them so we need to add new rows here and create a condition for the stage the new stage so stage active five and also we need to check after stage four if there is a demand for the tram so we create a detector this will be five because we agreed before in this simple scalable we just use one detector and that matches the number of the phase or signal group so that's five and I just move that up here a duplicate of it okay so now here we need to have another um, condition so what we can do is we can just add another row and here we can check for occupancy on detector number five because that is the tram and we go back to the first stage if there is no demand so if the occupancy is below one so that means the tram hasn't been on uh, waiting on the detector for more than one or we can use zero but usually i i prefer to use like uh, these uh, relations <laughs> um, that then if it is less than one it means there is no demand so it can go there but if it is not 
so if there is a demand on it so occupancy is greater than one we can actually do equal zero um, just sometimes it is buggy um, it doesn't work perfectly fine but we can check if it is not good I will uh, move it back to the relation okay so now if occupancy is not zero so it means there is a tram I just add the row here that means we can go to the tram inters uh, the tram stage so four to five so we need to create this interstage in the poor file so if i come here i just basically copy paste it like that so this is interstage five this is four to five and what happens here so d goes red so d goes red and e goes green okay okay so here if we if we have stage five we need to basically check if there is more demand on it well we can check for headways or for for more demand but for the terms probably we're not going to have two terms but we can we can definitely check for t green we can check for occupancy so what we do here is i just check the green time that uh, the minimum green time is not off and we can check for occupancy just to make sure there is another term waiting i am going to use occupancy now and not headway because terms are slower and very long so if occupancy so let's just think a bit here so we go to the right so we we uh, we go away from the stage if this is true so the occupancy needs to be below one so there should be no occupancy on it should be no occupancy on it or the t green is already more than 60 seconds all right and then enter stage then we go back to the first stage so what happens is if you are in stage five so the tram has a green we check for occupancy but since trams are long what i want to do i want to have a long detector here so if the first tram is passing the next tram in the queue should already be on this detector to make sure the the light is um, remains green so if we have one tram that let's say this long and they start getting through the green i just want to make sure that the next tram is getting onto this detector before the next one passes so the occupancy will never be zero if there are multiple trams waiting And if the occupancy is uh, not zero, so if there is someone on it, or the max green is below, just hang. Let, let let me just think that again. So if occupancy is zero, 
or the max green is over, then we go. But if any of those not, that's fine. It should be fine. But we can test it. So let me just save that. We also need to do another interstage. <laughs> Six. Where we go from five to one. There is something here to remember. So trams are very long and slow. <laughs> so this six second intergreen is not enough for them. So uh, again, let's just first fill out these two. So what goes red? E goes red and A becomes green, but A can only become green much in uh, much more than six seconds. So let's put it at least 12 and then it is 18. So we have six seconds minimum green time there included for phase A. In the previous interstage we might, no six second minimum green should be fine because the tram basically start passing the green light and uh, the rear will be in red maybe, but we have enough intergreen time here when it's over. So 12 seconds should be enough for the term to clear the intersection. Especially that at this example, I don't use reduced speed areas, which I should be using. Um, I mean, I have a little bit here. Yeah. I probably want to do a bit less here. Uh, tram is 40. And so for the 40, we had, let's say, 15. Okay, so we changed it from 6 to 12 to allow for more gap, basically, between the two stage and we increased it uh, to include that six second minimum green time we have in the previous ones. If you need more information, just check the previous video when I describe it in more detail. I saved it. So let's just double check this one. I think it should be ready to test and then we will see what is wrong with it. I just changed the simulation speed a bit let's see when okay a tram is coming so at the end of the cycle it should be called it is not working so let's just check Okay, so if occupancy if occupancy is zero, then go back. If not, then go from four to five. Go to four to five. I think I'm going to just use the brackets as a test. Oh, of course, I did not. I did not compile. I haven't done it yet. Okay. It looks fine. <laughs> it looks fine. Okay, and if we there are too many trams. I reduce this to have just a really a very few, so we can see. We can just confirm that uh, that stage is uh, skipped. Okay, so the tram is not getting green if there is no demand on it. Now the tram is there. The cycle gets to the end. 
it got called, it was enough integrin time. Then it is not coming again. Okay, let's see if I increase the input, it keeps it running for long enough. Yeah, so it keeps it running. So I think to summarize what you need to do is you basically need to treat a tram crossing a bit differently. You need to have a longer detector to make sure that uh, multiple trains, uh, multiple trams can be detected because headway is probably not uh, suitable for trams since they are longer and uh, slower. Um, you can check for occupancy uh, to for the demand and also the same rule goes to check for uh, extension. So if it needs to be extended you still can use occupancy because the detectors are long. You need to add uh, new interstages and the interstages need to consider, especially the one after the tram, uh, a longer intergreen time. Uh, so I added 12 seconds here. So that means once the tram got green and I've got shot off, then it still uh, waits until the next green comes. So we are not going to crash through the tram while the end of the tram is still inside the intersection. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or any video ideas. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I would like to thank my uh, Patreon supporter who started to support the channel. If you are one uh, or someone who would like to support, please check the description where you can find more info.